so here we want to start a new message okay so let's go back to our text editor and let's go to messages.php so if you remember very well i last time we put this um this if statement for starting a new message or showing existing messages so what i will just do here is copy everything that is here and i will move it into the safe statement then like so okay that should get rid of more errors and as you can see things are much cleaner okay but even when we are starting a new message we will need to know who we are about to talk to right because if you look at our url it's only saying messages new and then there's nothing there so we need to actually have a user id so that we can know who we are actually trying to talk to so here i'll put the back statement so that i can go to the actual user and then i will go back to my profile.php because now we know that we are missing some information here so instead i will copy this part that says root and put it at the very end there i will put my slash after the new because now i want us to add a user id so i'll copy this user id data and i will put it inside there okay so now at least we know messages and we want to create a new message and then who do we want to talk to this is the user so let's refresh our page here. And if I hover on this thing, you'll see that now there's a user ID at the very end and I will click and there we go. Now, since we know that new is on the URL number one in the uh, array, so obviously the user ID will be on number two. So what I want us to do is let me come to, uh, where is this? Let me come to messages.php and I will copy this user part here, user, and put it right there. Okay, so that now we can easily grab uh, get user. We already have this uh, function here. So all we need to do is get from the URL uh, location number two, that is. So let me remove this like so. But we have to be sure that this actually exists. Otherwise, um, this would be will return an error. So what I will say is, I'll say if is set URL two, uh -huh, and is numeric, so that we avoid uh, errors. There is numeric. Okay. So if it is set and then it is numeric, uh, let's do something with it. So everything goes in there because we don't want to do something uh, else here. Now, if it isn't, let's echo out something right here. So what we're going to echo out here is uh, that user could not be found, something like this that user could not be found okay refresh okay so it's saying that user could not be found uh, why is that let's check back again oh that's because we didn't put an else statement so it has to be an else statement here so that only one or the other runs not both so let's move that in there mm -hmm. So all the magic now will happen in here once we find the user. So raw user here, let me echo out this. Let me just say show right there. What is in raw user? And if I refresh and you see, we actually have a user here, which is very good. So all we need to do now is include a file. So we're going to include a file, uh, include we're going to include user.php right there okay and refresh okay so now as you can see user.php is expecting raw friend raw right so let's do that let's change this to friend raw like uh, here friend underscore raw there we go 
because that's what it, it's expecting. So let's give it that and I refresh and there we go. Okay, so start message. Now we have some reason to, uh, to write a sentence at the top here. So we're going to say start message with like so. Start message with and then there we go. Start message with this one. Okay, so down here now we can put our message uh, input. Uh, so we can easily copy from our profile.php. So I will go to my, uh, where is this, profile.php. Mm -hmm. And right here we have that section where we, the default section, which is this one. So I'll come here to the default section. I am looking for the form. So right here is where the form is. So let me get this entire part here, copy, and I will bring it to messages.php and right underneath here, I will paste like so. Let me come back here. Excellent. Okay. So we need to echo it, of, of course. So I'll say echo and put one, uh, yes, a single quote because there are double quotes in here. So then I can close it here like that. Okay, so let's see what we've got so far. So refresh and there we go. So instead of what's on your mind, we're going to say something like, uh, write your message here write your message here no question marks oh went too far there no question marks there we go okay oh what's happening here is the word wrapped on no okay there we go okay so the name of this one is message let's change the name of uh, the input the text area and then we have one for file that's fine and then this one is for post but we're just going to change that to send and let's try and refresh okay very good write your message here so now I can uh, begin typing mm, this is a test message like so and I'm sending it to Mary okay that's interesting. So if I hit save here, it's supposed to save for me. Now, since this is actually object oriented PHP, we are not going to put our, our evaluation code in here. Of course not. So when, um, when something was posted, if let's change this to a message so that it's more particular, if a message was posted and this is the thing right here okay so instead of deleting the post we're going to do something else now one important thing you should remember is we need to leave this header uh, redirect there so every time we post a uh, what's this a message we have to redirect the user to the exact same page again so I'm going to show you why that is important. Let's try it without the redirect first and we'll see how to use it instead. So let me do that. Very good. Now, instead of all this, the post uh, thing here, we will create another class. Now this was going to be the message class. So inside classes here, we will create a new file and I'm going to put my PHP tags, of course. And then I'm going to say class. Let's uh, keep to capital letters. Class messages, something like so. Okay, and hit save. So there we go. Messages.php and hit save. Now, of course, we have to add it to the autoload here. So I will go down here and duplicate one of these and write messages. Okay, so messages.php has been added to our system. 
and it's ready to go. Okay, so in the next video, we will make the class messages.